What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another traditional arena cube draft. I think anything taller than this and it gets messed up. We're talking about the chat. Let me actually double check. As soon as I get a second. Hmm. Hmm. I like a Vraska's Contempt. I like... I actually like Tangled Florahedron, and I also like Gilded Goose as well. Let me see. Well, the, the height is 1130. After this pick, I think I want to take Vraska's Contempt. I think I want to be black here. Sphinx of Foresight. What if we take the Traxos and we just build around Traxos? Essence Scatter is also pretty sweet. You guys know I like the blue black controls. Skyclave Shade is interesting. This art is also really strange. Hmm. I kind of like Traxos. Traxos seems pretty sweet. I don't know how any... I mean, like, this is... Oh, let's take Glorybringer, actually. Let's try Black Red. I think Glorybringer is really good. I mean, it's actually really good for me in Vintage Cube when I play it in Vintage Cube, so I have to assume it's great here. Obosh is interesting. Obosh makes Glorybringer deal Thank 8 you. and 8. Oh, Brett with the gifted sub? Oh my god. I'm going to take Obosh. And if that Bane fire wheels? Oh, insult to injury is interesting. Injury deals 8 damage if we have Obosh and we cast insult first. That's interesting. Is this what? Is this tension friend of a source you control? Yeah, we're taking this. We're going we're gonna try to double our damages. Champion of Poops? Gray Merchant's interesting. I don't know if... I don't know if we're going to be a Gray Merchant deck. If it's, it's not damage, it's life loss, right? Yeah. If it was damage, I'd be all over it. I'd be like, wow, that's pretty sweet. This pack's pretty bad. I mean, I guess Tybalt's not terrible with our doubling damage theme here. You don't look scared. I can fix that. Any good advice? Because, no, no, I mean, not really. I'm going to write them a letter tonight, and, um... I'm going to send it tomorrow, so... Oh, what up, Kyers? Hold on. Chat's at 11.30. Let's make it 11... Let's just make it 1,200 even, see if that does anything. Oh, did that work? I think that worked. Uh, Hazaret seems really good. Underworld Rage Hound is 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 interesting uh i don't think we're a banneret deck i actually just might want dusk legion zealot because i'm trying to play a mid-range deck here and not like a uh an aggressive yeah let's actually Thank let's you. make chat go 1300 and see how that looks ancient Thank stirring you. with the gifted subs thank you so much guys really appreciate you is this damage dang it's life loss again 
We don't have any way to sacrifice anything, so I'm not really into the claim the firstborn here. Is it Sahili non-creature spells? Like, I don't think it's that great yet. I mean, Demonic Embrace is reasonable. This guy's a 4-3, 4-2 flyer on turn 3. It might just be Axe. Ox? Axe? Ox Body Spray? I'll take the Ox. I've never actually played the... Okay, take it easy. Good grief. Ah, uh, Chain Whirler is pretty good. He's also doubling up on the damages. Oh, never return. Okay. All right, now we have triple black. All right, Traxos did come back. Let's take Shade here. Archfiend of Ifner, sure. Our deck is, look at this, a uh, double black, triple red, double black, double black, double red, double red. We should probably uh, pick up every black red fixing land that we can find. I have noticed this cube tends to be higher on the five drops. Eh, find is actually a double black card. Seems fine fine with me. Oh man, look how low the look how low the chat goes now. That's bananas. Wow, oh, I like that a lot. That's great. I'm all the way down here. Yeah, it's true. Oh, Underworld Ragehound came back. All right. We're going to play 3-1 for 2 mana dot deck that comes back. Seems good. Also, still using the new mic, so let me know if that's uh, living up to expectations. It's also on heavy compression. I could see lowering it to medium compression if this is too too deep and rich and buttery for for your tastes. Wow, last pick Blood Artist? It's actually pretty good. I like Skewer the Critics here. I don't think we're a Rankle deck. I don't know what a Rankle deck is, but... Rankle puts me in a position to have to answer questions that I don't want to answer, like, do I want to sacrifice a creature? Do I have a card I want to discard? You know, like, do I want to give my opponent a card? Like, all of these questions I just don't like answering. So I don't like it. Uh, this is best of three. I'm going to take Skewer, I think. I'm looking for I'm looking for the, the black red lands. I don't see them yet. We're a little shy on fours. And we have like no sixes. This is a three. Let's be real. I think Morog is actually pretty good, right? Morog is actually just game breaking, I think. I'm going to take the Morog as our, like, our big top end card. Um, well. Hmm. Castle Locked Lane. When you cast your next instant or sorcery. I hate that this is four mana. Yeah, Phoenix is fine. I mean, it's it's got to be the pick here. There's nothing else that's any good unless you were talking about... All right, well, this is a black red land, so we're definitely taking that. Ideally, Heartless Act or Reckless Rage comes back. Hmm. I do like Luris, actually. We have Blood Artist, Dusk Legion, Zealot Sky, and we have all of these guys. I think Luris is actually probably pretty good here. Here's an axe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's almost too smooth. Okay, we're going to take... It's either an axe or Bastion. I feel like Bastion with Blood Artist is pretty good. Cards draw. <laughs> 
I kind of like Bastion here. All right, I took an axe because I had one second on the clock, so I didn't really want to mess up my things. All right, got to go take care of some post-work IRL stuff. Lame. Is this Chandra any good? It's good with Bastion. You know, Bastion from The NeverEnding Story. I don't think that's very good. I think I'd rather just have two drop. We still have another pack to go, or is this pack three? This is pack two? Good grief. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are you a crypto guy? I was, and then I sold it because I was like, I don't have time for this. I would, yeah, yeah, this is just not, yeah, it's not even close, actually. I mean, this is the only other card we we're looking at, so I'll just take Rankle. Wow, I'm kind of blown away by that, uh, that late ass Tor Torbjorn Torbran. Captain Lannery Storm is also fine. Hmm. I'm gonna take the veto actually. Giving our guys lifelink is pretty nuts. We could definitely be mono red. There's definitely an option for that. I would like to get a couple more cheap creatures. Uh, well, you're not red-black, unfortunately. I'll still take you. Sixty card mono red deck. Oh, the Bastion came back. That's um, pretty sweet, actually. How do we have a whole nother pack? Oh, Dragon Skull Summit? Oh, baby. Oh, boy. Also, the Chandra that I love. Shatter Skull Smashing is also good. I think we just gotta go Dragon Skull Summit. I think there's I just don't think we have very much incentive to go mono black when we have or mono red. Like our two drops are not great. Hmm. Is it worth just going mono red? I don't even know. We'll take Shatter Skull Smashing. I think that's fine. Earthshaker Kenra. And I bet one of these three cards comes back. All right, let's take Kenra here. No, oh, there's a Croxa. See, and then you just feel bad, and you're like, oh, I don't want to just be black. Direfully Daredevil's fine, but I think it's just so much worse than Croxa here. So, three shock lands, none of which are good for us. Hmm. I like it. Phyrexian Arena seems fine here. If we're still black. I'm not a huge cathartic green. 
Oh, well then. Okay, let's take that. Yeah, the the one black black three black. Yeah, that's uh. Oh, robber the rich is decent. Let's take robber Robert. Let's take Rob. I mean, I I feel like. I feel like we're still leaning towards mono red at this point. Just because that ember cleaver really pushes me over over the top. I wish I could highlight more than one card. It's really that's a uh let's yeah, let's take lightning strike here. Like I wish like a magic online I could drag these three and bring them all over instead I gotta do it one at a time. It's kind of tedious. Okay, so we're missing a good number of playables if we're just mono. Like, we're missing, like, five playables. Which is definitely worse. Kazul's Fury is a nice freebie. Thank you! Hardest of Core, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, dude. Long time no see. Oh, the Dragon Skull Summit did come back, so now I'm leaning towards black again. Yeah, I just think with 20 cards in the deck uh, and three of these technically being lands, I think the, the black cards are kind of a necessary evil. Hmm. Well... I don't think we're a priest deck. I'll just take Castle Embereth. We have a, a ton of playables as it is. <sighs> sure. Wow. Um, Shock is fine. This deck's looking very interesting. Now we have Kazul's Fury, Shatter Skull Smashing. Two lands in the deck as well. That's a really good last pickup. Okay, 15, 15 mountains. Okay, that's before... Actually, did those cards just give us enough to play Mono Red? I mean, not really, unfortunately. This should definitely be a land. Yeah. All right. So I'd rather take out the subpar cards and just play black. Uh, Chain Roller is going to be hard. We can board it in if it's really needed. I don't think Tybalt is that good. Let's bring in Zealot, Blood Artist, Bastion. I'm going to try to steer away from the double black cards if I can. I think Luris actually might be good enough, though. So this is... Uh, I'm trying to like count the fucking lands, but I can't hover over the lands. i got to hover to the side of them. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, don't set it as my companion. There was one other card I wanted, I think. Um, I do like Shade. I think I'd rather have Shade than Grim Lava Mancer here. I think all of these are fine. Yeah, this is like a really perfect Luris deck. 
I know we do another spell land, but I'm only going to count the one as a land. Then we can have 18 mana sources. So this is what one? This is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is eight, nine. Let's add another black here. So this is uh, seven, eight, 14, 15, 16, 17 lands. And this is six, seven, eight sources of black and seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 sources of red. 11, eight. How many creatures? We have like 18 creatures, right? That'd be my guess. 16, still good. So for like incremental damage triggers, if Blood Artist, Bastion, Luris can get things back. Torbran adds two damage. Obosh doubles damage. Um, insult Injury doubles damage. We have Embercleave. I think this deck seems spicy. Also, getting a Luris out and just being able to reanimate Vyashino Pyromancer seems good. Thank you. Old Man Silver, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. 26 months. A little over two years. Um, This seems worth keeping. Any black source, and we're just good to go. Plus, we're on the draw, so... Okay, well... I'm not going to lead with this, because I think it's way strong. We're going to keep it in hand. If we figure we need it coming up... Oh, wow. Against the red deck is... Uh... Yeah, I don't think we're going to need it. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be a interesting situation. All right. I might lightning strike this guy because we're not going to have time to do it in the next few turns. Like, it's going to be a 2-2. Two -two. We're going to play a, a land in Torbrand. It's going to be a 3-3. Three -three. We're going to play a land in Glorybringer. I guess we can kill it, but we're still going to take a, like, 4 damage, 5 damage. And it just might be better to kill it now, so. And it's not a matter of, it's just a matter of mana efficiency. Like, we're our, our turn 4 and turn 5 are theoretically going to be occupied. Okay, that was a good draw, but not right this second. I think we're still just going to play Torbrin here. Because there's the chance of drawing another land for, for Glorybringer, and if not, then that's fine. Okay, that's fascinating. I really just can't do anything here? That's really obnoxious. I guess we can actually Shatter Skull both of these guys. They have one land up? I guess they have 
Hedron as well. I mean, I assume this is going to get countered, but it did not get countered. Oh, a little secret. I forgot this was the mythic one and it comes into play untapped. That's my bad. Hmm. Did they gain life from something? Oh, they played approach. Yeah, this is why I wish magic... I was literally reading chat, so this is why I wish f this client had an actual way to uh, determine things like that. Okay, so if you want to exert, you can't hit all attack. Good to know. Good to know. Also good to know, but I have a... It's weird that I have a glory burner out. I guess they're just trying to survive. I mean, they... Actually, they have Hedron Archive. Oh, I think we're just dead here. Yep. Cool. So we can't stop that guy now because they just killed our glory bringer. So they're going to draw a card next turn. Eh, I mean, might as well put a guy in the way. Felt really good about playing Dreadhorde Invasion against the red deck, but then again, I guess if you're going to literally bounce every single card I play. Yep, so they can literally go end of turn, draw two. I mean, they kind of need this for the land, though. But... I just don't see how we're getting through their defenses in order to kill them before they just cast... Approach of the Second Sun again. Lifelink. I mean, I guess they're gaining the life anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah, this actually seems like a great matchup for Tybalt. This is, uh, this is quite a long sideboarding here. Bob does have a lot of options. Wow, look what happens when I take color correct off. Holy shit, that's like... Wow, look at the difference there. That's wild. I do think I need to be brightened up a little bit. Is that it? No, that ain't gonna do it. About 10 there. Yeah, we're playing first. I'm just working on these colors for a second. Ten. Is that better? I feel like I'm really bright, though. Well, we're definitely mulliganing this hand, even though it has two technically... <sighs> You know what? I'll keep it. It's got two lands. It's fine. I think that's better. I think that's a better... Still seems a little bright. I feel like it's still a little bright. Like, my face is just, like, radiant, and I don't... Oh, maybe that's... Oh, hold on. Maybe we're just a two red. Let's... Oh, Swamp is actually a great draw there. Oh, uh, I'll target them. Okay. All right. I have five catch-up dance assessments today because my appendix decided it wanted it wanted out right before dance assessments. Hmm. Amazing turn. 
Guess I'll replay this guy. This is why I hate decks like this, just to be clear. Discard a card, huh? That was a solid hit. Pop their minds down. I still feel like I'm way too bright. See, like, that's the right color I want right there. That seems good. That is way too bright. And I'm not actually sure what the cause is, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'm way too bright. Like, I feel like a ghost. Okay. See, I think that's that's good, but I think that's also closer to how I had it. So maybe this is just what I like. is your turn, I guess. Attacks. I want to be able to block with this guy if they attack. Well, they're doing something. Token can't block? I don't know how any of these cards work, man. Oh, just with one, huh? Okay. Thank you! 
May, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back one year. Token dies for no reason. It's true. Yeah, so I mean like next turn or other attack with both. Interesting. So that's your turn, huh? Hmm. So they're going to block here. They're going to block here and take one. Obosh doesn't do anything right now. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, they gained life from this as well. Cyborg Huey, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Doesn't even do that much. God, if we had one more, we could actually play this for four. Uh, and attack with three guys. This would cost three. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yep, pretty sure we're just dead here. Like, we literally take 4, 8, 11 in the air. If we block 1, we take... And this guy can't block, so they can actually just alpha us and kill us. Yep, that's cool. Wow. I love it when the actual fucking Esper control deck is more aggressive than our red-black deck. That's always fun. Is this the antibody? Oh my god. Okay, so one land. Sounds good. Sure. I think we can ship a swamp here. I got a bag of holding. Hmm. Oh, Spencer, what up, my dude? I appreciate you. Thank you for the resub, man. 
I miss you, buddy. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right. Well, that guy is a thing. What about me? Don't you miss me? I do. I really do. Lifelink. Playing the mono red deck, because of course he gets... Of course he gets lifelink the first connect. Why wouldn't he? Now I bet he's going to get flying, so that we have no way to deal with it. Well, I don't miss you. <laughs> Got him. Damn. You guys are monsters. Oh, first strike. First strike. Because of course. <sighs> oh, boy. see oh baby yep we'll be playing that Does it have now death touch? All right. Well, I think we have to kill this guy now. They don't have six mana, so this guy doesn't do much. Um. Oh, cancel. Fuck! God, I hate this fucking client sometimes. Are you serious? That's, that's, that's gonna cost us the game. Next turn they get to equip this guy. They both get things. Yeah, that sucks. Wow, that was unbelievably bad. So bad. Oh, they didn't equip it. Now he has reach. What? I don't understand. What's going on? What are you doing? Why are you attacking? This is strictly worse for my Croxa and my Underworld Rage Hound, but... Okay, they have a trick here, clearly. But I also have a trick, it's called an Ember Cleave. Okay. So, I'll see what happens here. Did they just whiff? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 
Okay, that's pretty good. That did it. Man, 129 people in this chat, and not one of you responded to my lamenting about the stupid exert trigger? I figured at least one of you would be like, wow, you're a fucking dummy. Wow, look at this stupid mistake you made. Wow. But no. None of you. Well, that was obvious. I didn't want to bring it up. You are only human. Oh, man. I don't deserve you guys. What do we got here? One land? No, I don't think so. Oh, two lands. I will keep this six. You know what? Embercleave's probably more likely to be cast than this guy. So... But maybe not. Now, we have two creatures, so they both cost four, essentially. Okay. Mountain. Even a real dummy wouldn't make that play. Damn it. This guy can't block, right? They can never block. If your power is three and your toughness is one, you can't block. A cultivator's caravan. Look in my eyes! What do you see? Cultivator's caravan. That's not, that's not the best song, guys, but you know. Well, shit. Oh, are they gonna do it? Nope, apparently they did it right. That's. That's cool. Well, this guy's not untapping, so hopefully we can just swarm the board before we ember cleave next turn for a thousand damage. If we Ember Cleave one of the four, it's eight, and they block one, so they take nine, they go to three, and we have a lightning strike. I'm gonna no blocks here. Look in my eyes, what do you see? Cult of personality. I think we actually win here. This is going to be 8 9. Okay, so if we ember cleave on this, 5 6 7 8 9. If we ember cleave on this, it's 8 9. It's the same way cuz 3 is getting soaked up. So I might as well put it on here cuz then we get to eat a guy. Ember cleaves a hell of a car. That's what Xaxes is like, y'all. Go grab those fries, my Michael B. Dip them in hot sauce from your butt, you will pee. <laughs> Why? What is that? Why is that a thing? He who has not misplayed can cast the first stone. It is the it is that should be the Twitch Bible. You're right. So two one is still on the table.
Just don't ask questions. It's for the best. Ugh, God. I have 18 lands in the deck. Why do I keep getting these shit hands? We can cast Rage Hound. Can't cast... Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan. All right. See, this is better. We can ship a swamp. Good games. I have trouble with the exert trigger game one. Yes, I did. Hence why I misplayed following that. I don't need... Oh, dude, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, that was definitely... I literally... I was like, I cannot believe I hit this stupid attack with all button. Thank you. And then I didn't actually exert because I tried to kill your guy. And then I was like, well, if you put the helm on this guy, we're just dead. Thank you. So... Pay the man his money. Antibody, I appreciate you, dude. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. <laughs> man, talk about having some manners in a game of MTG. Thank you. He beat me. Pay the man his money. Uh, I'm going to play this guy because I don't actually need Thank to land you. yet. We can play this guy on two, this guy on three, and then Zealot on four if we need to land. Which it does not look like we will at this particular juncture. Yeah, did you jump in like as soon as I jumped in? Because that was good timing. I was like, is this the antibody? And it was the anti- Okay, I don't really care about this idiot. I might care about it enough to like hit him though. Okay, actually that's not bad. Like, I think it's just better, generally, to get Planeswalkers off the board. Actually, with two more lands in hand, maybe we just played a regular basic and cycle this, but... I feel like against Blue-Green we're doing okay here. Fastwood Surge? Sure, so four. We're gonna hit you for nine this turn? Alright, well, feels okay. I timed it out. Yeah, it worked well. Man, that's funny. This guy don't have reach though, right? Okay. Cult of personality. Pump. Oh my god, I totally forgot this guy has pump, dude. Dude, this is the problem. Like, so this is why I'll do reasonably well in Vintage Cube, but in this cube, I'm, I'm actually having a few issues because I forget about these, like, little abilities, especially on red cards, which I never play. And I don't play a ton of standard. So, like, I literally forgot you could pump this stupid bird. And I can only wonder how many times I forgot to do that in this in this entire draft. Let's go over all the cards and make sure I know what they all do. Okay, I know this guy. He's a 5-3 if you kick it. Uh, I know this guy. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay, know this guy. Looks like Kriparian. Um. Yep, this guy is pretty similar to this guy. They're both coming back with two counters. Well, this guy gets one counter. I guess he's a 4-2. Okay, no all those. No, this one, this land can come into play untapped because it's the mythic. I completely forgot about that because I'm also so used to playing limited rather than constructed. So most of the, the dual face cards I'm putting into play are uncommons or rares. So I'm pretty much used to like putting them into play tapped. And, you know, the only time you're playing um, Shatter Skull Smashing is usually in constructed. Yep, know that one. That's a fling. Yep. Yep. So yeah, the, like the three mistakes I feel like I've made this game is forgetting about this having plus two plus zero, uh, not knowing the satyrs couldn't block, and also shatter skull smashing, forgetting that it comes into play untapped. I think everything else has been fine. I didn't see anything. We saw Kogla, Vastwood, and and one friggin' Ashiok. So, so, okay, with the Minotaur, as soon as it attacks, it gets plus one, plus oh. 
I just hand seems good. <laughs> sand seems really good. Yeah, see, that's good to know as well. Again, these are all like cards that I am not. I'm not playing them in the constructed. I don't play commander, and I'm very rarely opening the mythics in limited. So it's like. So hopefully you guys are learning with me, or at least being like, "Wow, I'm so much better than this friggin' idiot." Trust me, guys. If I, if I was playing in a Grand Prix or a Pro Tour, I would know the format inside and out. But I'm not. I think we. Play, I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play this. I don't think it's a big deal if we have to take three later in the game. But if we happen to draw like land, 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 and we can just save this for, for, for damage Z's. I mean, that's just see. And now we're talking. Also, Luris and Croxa. Oh baby, you're our favorite freaking idiot, man. You guys are too good to me. I love you guys. Cult of personality. I also feel like the the blue the blue red the blue green deck is not gonna have a ton of answers to a to a Luris. This format is a million times better than the Supreme Vintage Cube. That is my impression as well. And that is why I am kind of passively boycotting the Supreme Vintage Cube. I did a couple of them during PAX, and I just didn't super enjoy them a ton. So, uh, yeah, no, no blocks, I guess. Hmm, well. I'm very tempted to two for one myself here and kill this guy. I also think it's probably just better to play Shatter Skull Smashing and Torbran. Because, I mean, Shock and Lightning Strike just get so much better. Actually, Croxa. So next time we can go like Lightning Strike, Croxa. That's pretty good. The ocean surges, life thrives. Okay, so I can actually kill both of these dudes. Yeah, no blocks. Shock will deal four, yes. Thank you. Neon Tokyo Rain, my dude, what up? Welcome back. Yeah, we're just gonna kill the Kiora. Not only is it helping with their mana, it's also an engine, so. They can either have a Goose or a Kiora. But you cannot have both. Is that Moochel B? Is that Moochel B himself? anyway this is round three. Oh boy your favorite and mine well don't have an easy way to deal with that guy Unfortunately, any combo with uh, with Bastion or an Axe is pretty bad when they have Kogel on board. And of course, they're going to just... God, 
God, I hate that this is an enchantment. Otherwise, this would be insane to just play Crocs like three times a turn and make infinite tokens. Like, if this wasn't a Kogla, I think we'd... It, it, bleh, bleh, bleh. Those are the words. Sure. Oh my god, they didn't attack? Oh my god, we got them to discard a Hydroid Crassus? Oh my god. I mean, they know we're keeping us, uh, they're keeping us back with the Kogla, but still, this is a hell of a combo, man. Yeah, that's fine. I have, like, no cards in hand that are relevant. Play a land. Can I just play Kogla a bunch? How many cards do I have? Four total, huh? I don't think they do realize it's an enchantment, dude. They have no cards in hand, so I think Crux is actually just worse here. I think Ox might be better. You can only play it from your graveyard once per turn? Why? Oh, from Luris. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, why? What's, what's the reason for that? Um... I mean, I'm still gonna do it. it. They still take, they still take three. They take four actually because of the Bastion, and then we get to play uh, Underworld Rage Hound, and we get two one ones. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a great, this is a great value. And. I don't think we're attacking quite yet. And the reason being is we have Castle Embreath next turn. You got it. Not attacking with Koglas was a pretty sizable mistake. Okay. Not ideal, but still doesn't really do much. That's a Lurus. <sighs> oh, 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 wow. That is... Well, actually, it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. So they can just bounce their human now and give it indestructible. Actually, maybe we just block here. Get the... Get the token. Okay, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This costs four. So we have three extra mana. I mean, I have two blockers. We have seven tokens. I feel like we just go for it and then we have Skewer the Critics. Oh, well, we can also Croxa too. Oh, no, we can't because we don't have the... Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's an option later. Oh, uh, they can kill Anax. It's not it's not Iroas, buddy. This is a different those are different gods, okay? This is a demigod. Uh yeah, alright. Oh, what up, Jimmy? Uh let's go to blockers. Oh, they just gave up. Alright. Two one, not the worst. Lost to the approach of the second Sunday, but I think it's still pretty good, and I'll accept it. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. 
Still let me know if this mic sounds good. I think I'm keeping him. And, um... Be sure to follow or subscribe. Subscribing is a great way to support the channel. And you get to keep me alive. Isn't that great? I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.